extremely important because it's sending a message that people have to start getting organized, that we are running out of time, that in fact to have you know, close to a thousand people come out on an evening to say that we are wanting to talk about fossil fuels, not the most exciting sounding topic, but people are understanding that burning of oil, coal and gas is what's driving climate change and, and we are running out of time. The decisions that we make in the next few years are the only decisions that count here because after that it'll be too late to do anything about this. That's why it's different and in a sense harder than what great leaders like Gandhi or Dr. King faced. The only advantage they had was that they knew they would win in the long run, that eventually they would persevere and win. We're not going to win in the long run. We can only win in the short run or although else it will be too late. So that's why this evening is important. It's both highlighting the problem but pointing to a practical thing that people can do which is get universities, local governments, municipalities, uh, investment funds to stop investing in oil, coal and gas and to start investing in solar, wind, biomass and so on. Urgenda picked up the divestment campaign from Bill McKibben and the carbon tracker report from London very early in the campaign and translated it to the Netherlands. So we have already visited four universities and three uh, higher education schools and asked them to divest. Um, and at the same time they say it's very well possible to do something yourself. So we could be within 20 years without fossil fuels and 100% on renewable energy by changing your house, uh, transporting yourself differently, eat less meat, etc. And we also need the government to do much more and therefore we have started a climate case against the government of the Netherlands. And we're asking the government actually uh, in 2020 to reduce CO2 with 40% and to inform the public much, much better that it's a very, very urgent thing, climate change. Some movement has to come to the Netherlands. We're behind with most of this stuff. We're kind of sleeping in the Netherlands, I think. We're we're under sea level, but we don't seem to care. And I think everybody has to realize what is on our agenda now, in our personal life, what business can do, what governments can do. And that's, I think, what you can learn from this film. Don't wait, act now. We developed a highly efficient solar LED light, which can also charge mobile phones and radios. And within one year, we changed the lives of one million people. They now have a good, sustainable light that they can afford as well. Uh, they don't have to uh, intoxicate their lungs, they don't run the risk of uh, severe burns, they have good, good light, they don't have to spend money because the sun is for free. And if we, with the two of us, can do that in one year, change the lives of one million people, what can we do with the audience of 1,000 1, people that we had this, this night? We can change and we can change fast. I come across all kinds of politicians and poets and CEOs and CFOs and all kinds of crap and I always talk about sustainability with them so this adds a little bit up to my story I can say no no there is a solution we're going to not invest in you anymore which is good and it gives me such a power tool to say no, 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 we got the answer so yeah I'm, I'm really happy what is your message to the Dutch audience um, the same as it is to people all over the world uh, this is the first great global problem we've ever faced. We cannot solve it in any one country. We need to work together to break the power of this huge global industry. And if we can do that, then we have a chance to get the kind of political solutions that we need.